Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Yes, it's time for one of my favorite segments. I'm hanging out with my girl, Danny Canada, editor uh, Bossip, uh, deputy. Deputy editor. editor yes. I like that. Yes. I, you come up with the titles like that. Deputy editor. It sounds like really that. official, right? It, because, <laughs> because it is. Because it is. And she's mm -hmm. here to give us all of the hot pipe and tea that's going on in Hollywood. And let me just say, I wish I didn't have to touch this today. I know. I'm just letting you know. But I'm here to do the heavy lifting for you. Well, girl, I got you. You're going to have to I got you. Well, let's right. go ahead and dive right on in here. All right. Uh, we saw Giselle the other day. She was on yes. Watch What Happens Live. Yes. And, you know, we now know that she's back with her food thing. Yes. Ex-husband Jamal. Jamal Bryant. Yes. Mm -hmm. And, but, uh, what's but, 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 so this is a little messy. Giselle was on Watch What Happens Live, and while she's there talking about getting back together with Jamal Bryant, mm. Andy Cohen brought up that there were rumors that Jamal was actually Phaedra Parks' Mr. Chocolate. Mr. Chocolate was allegedly the man that Phaedra was allegedly cheating on Apollo Nida with. Mm. And so when Andy brought that up, Giselle responded that Jamal denied it, but she also threw some shade and that said that Phaedra is not important. So Phaedra caught wind of that and clapped back on Instagram, and she said, even if it wasn't me, it wouldn't be you. That was her oh, response. Lord, have mercy. So Giselle has yet to respond to that, but everybody is like, why would you, why would you shade Phaedra? Yeah, everybody knows that Phaedra is like a shade savant. Like, mm. that's her thing. Mm. Like, you don't, you probably shouldn't come for Phaedra Parks. No, Lord Jesus, but she was sitting, honey, on that couch, baby. Did y'all yeah. see her laid out with her she dress? She looked good. And all of her fine garments, she honey, I love good. it. She looked good, she looked good. Let's move on to Wendy Williams yes. and NeNe Leakes down to the Wendy Williams show. Oh, They're talking her. about Kenya Moore. They're talking about Kenya Moore, again. So, on the Wendy Williams show, uh, Nene was there as a guest, and this is after she and Wendy re reconciled their right, friendship right. after seven years. They weren't friends for seven years, so they're they back together. Right there. Keep, look at them mm -hmm. matching, kikiing it up, blonde hair, looking cute. So, they Wendy Williams up. is giving me Michael Jackson tease right there. Though. I'm not doing this with you. Mm -hmm. I'm done with well, you. Go ahead. <laughs> so, she brought up Kenya Moore, who is returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and she told Nene, she said, well, it seems like she might be coming for your spot. And Nene said, well, who's that? Who's that now? Who's mm. that? Who said that? Mm. And then she also added that she doesn't have to fight for any kind of position because Nene knows that she's the top dog on the show. She is. She made Real Housewives of Atlanta what it is today. She's been there the entire time. Yes. You you cannot talk about Real Housewives and not talk about Nene Leakes. Unless she work. wanted to take a break. Right. Unless she wanted to take a break. Exactly. And that's another thing. Exactly. So. Okay. So Kenya Moore is doing IVF. Okay. So she did IVF. Okay. So Kenya Moore has her baby, Brooklyn Daly, who is, who is so beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh my God. Beautiful, oh my God. She's perfect gorgeous. Perfect baby. So she and her husband Mark Daly appeared on the Tamron Hall show mm -hmm. and they talked about what they did to conceive their child. Now when Kenya got pregnant she was 47 years old. Mm. So she did IVF treatments and she did the fertility shots. So she and Tamron Hall actually bonded over this because Tamron just we welcomed her first son baby Moses and she went through the same thing. Mm -hmm. So they were just talking about their IVF journeys and then you're going to get to see more of baby Brooklyn on this season of The Real Housewives she's of Atlanta. She's beautiful. She I is just, such I mean, a beautiful I'm so happy baby. for Kenya to be I honest am too. with you. It seems like she's in a great place. Mm -hmm. She has a great husband mm -hmm. she has a beautiful child and she's able to be the mom that her mom was never to her. exactly so that's what's really huge exactly in it all. yeah come on down to the ATL mm. I just got to tell you we had the um, the summit the revolt summit Girl. last weekend and Girl. when I tell you T.I. T.I. went in on T. Candace I. Owens. He brought out his good dictionary mm. for Candace Owens, and sure I loved did. it. So in case you I don't know, Candace Owens is a conservative. Um, she is very well known for defending Trump. At one point, she got in trouble because it mm. seemed like she was defending Hitler. Who oh does that? God. So when she's on stage at the Revolt Summit, she's bringing up Trump and saying that it's a fallacy that he doesn't like black people. And everybody's like, well, he did say, you know, make America great again. And she's like, what does that mean? T.I. was like, well, what period of time was America great for black people? Was it when we were hanging from trees? Mm. Was it the crack era? Was it mm. slavery? Mm. And Candace stumbled over the question and couldn't answer because she couldn't well, answer. Well, there is, there's not an answer. There, there is no yeah. answer that can possibly make America great again for black people. It just doesn't exist. Oh, period. Honey. Now, Fantasia has been known to give us some great music, but I hear she's giving the people advice, relationship mm. advice. Yeah, so Fantasia, Fanny got caught up in some drama. She was on The Breakfast Club this week. As you can see, that is her husband, Kendall Taylor. They have been together for a while now. Mm -hmm. They are happily married. Uh, but when she was on The Breakfast Club, she basically told women the reason why you might not be married is because you try to lead the household. Mm. She was like, you should be the neck and the man should be the head. And she was saying that, that we have these gender roles mixed up. It's a generational curse. It's a thing that's going on in these black families. And she was just telling women, you know, be, be more like me. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately for her, people brought up some old 
history of hers with her dating life. Oh, that's Do you remember messy. that? Do you remember? Like, there was a time when she was allegedly dating a married man, and <sighs> there were like, people well, so messy. And people don't, the internet never forgets. So you have to be real careful. Oh, my God. Fanny. Fanny. They, mm. got, they got Fanny good on that one. But Fanny said uh, she can help a Patty LaBelle with her love life. Is that is that possible? <laughs> is she going to help her? She, she might need. So Patty LaBelle was at Fashion Week, and she stopped and talked to the New York Post, and she told them basically, despite my age, I still want to get married. That's right. She was like, I'm not too old to get married. I want to fall in love and be with a man. And years ago, actually, there were rumors that she was dating her younger drummer. Mm. So I don't know what happened with that situation, but Miss Patty is ready. Well, the people like the drums to be beaten, child. <laughs> <laughs> just, just move, to the, move to the tone of your own beat, baby. Basically. Let's finally uh, wrap this up with Lorenz Tate. What's happening with him? All right, Lorenz Tate, we all know him from Power. Um, he was talking about his marriage, and he was saying what works for them. So you know how some people, they sleep in the same bed. They're right. always together with their spouse. Right. He said he and his wife actually sleep in separate beds. They make appointments. They, they make appointments. So they, they <clears> sleep <throat> separately, but they look at them, stronger than ever, two beautiful mm. kids. And he said, this is what works for them. Mm. But now, do you believe in separate bedrooms? <sighs> now, let me tell you something. Just personally speaking, it's a no. It's a, it's a strong no for me. Okay. Uh, I feel when you begin to get into separate bedrooms, you are probably going to be separated soon mm -hmm. and not far after possibly divorce. You think some people say That's it's just good to take a break from I your spouse. I don't know. I don't know if you can take a break from your spouse. When you're married, you do it for infinity. Right. But anywho, Danny, thank you so much for coming. We thank really you. do appreciate you giving us all the hot tea, honey. And for more stories like this, you might want to follow her on Bossup on all social media platforms. And the conversation continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. <laughs>